Hindu activists angry over a museum selling toys of Hindu gods. So this is the latest episode of Hurt Sentiments campaign. Okay, so a Hindu organization, the Universal Society of Hinduism, has stated concerns about Peabody Essex, Essex Museum, or PEM, in a museum in Salem, Massachusetts, selling plush toys portraying three Hindu deities in an insensitive way. Quote, Lord Krishna, Lord Ganesh, and Lord Hanuman were greatly revered in Hinduism and were meant to be worshipped in temples or home shrines and not to be thrown around loosely on the floor, bathrooms, cars, etc., said Rajan Zed, president of the Universal Society of Hinduism. After protests from the organization on October 18th, PEM removed the toys featuring the deities. PEM should learn more about religious and cultural sensitivities, Ed suggested. The toys were manufactured by a company based in New Jersey and founded by an Indian-American family. Avani Modi Sarkar, co-founder of the multicultural toy business Modi Toys, said in a statement that these were made with the intention to spark curiosity in Hindu culture and heritage. Okay, so... I love this because the toys are so cute. <laughs> like, I want one. Armin, which one do you want the most? Do you want the, Ga the Ganesh, the Krishna, or the Hanuman? I want the Krishna one. I like I like ha the Krishna one the most. Hanuman. Hanuman is really cute. I and mean, it has this thing. What is this thing that he's holding? It's like, um, it's, I think it's like a mace. I love it's that. It's like anime. a hammer kind of thing. Why would you be offended over this? This is a great way to promote Hinduism to your children. If you're like, if I was a Hindu parent, I would like, I need these. I need these. I would like, I, if I was like, if I was trying to brainwash my kids, okay, with with religion, I would basically go over the stories of Hinduism, like with like these, like I'll hold them, like, and then this. Happened, oh my God, you happened, could do and... like little puppet plays. Like, yeah. yeah. What the hell's wrong with you guys? This is how your religion becomes adorable. This you know is like I mean? the you know how like kids love Santa because like Santa in the Easter bunny because Santa is cute. This is how you get kids into Easter because bunnies are cute, you get candy, da da da. Like it works. But I okay, one, I love the toys. They're so cute. Guys, let us know in the live chat which god, god or goddess would you like a plushie of. Oh my god, Asian American is saying, I would have killed to have a stuffed monkey king. <laughs> the name of the um, monkey king from Chinese mythology. I can't remember his name. But yeah, that would be so awesome. And there's like cute little storybooks that go with it. And then you can like read the storybook and then have your little Ganesha. Like, I don't know. I think that's lovely. Um, but what's funny is that not only did okay i want to provide a little bit more context so this guy seems to be someone who is perpetually offended so when i posted this the the news that we are going to do to our patreon oxymoron you know member of our chat and supports us on patreon posted in the comments like 11 examples of when this guy, what's his name, Rajan Zed, got offended at celebrities or Wayfair having bath towels with the ohm on it. Like this guy's sole purpose in life seems to be get offended at someone using Hinduism in any fashion and, and complain about them and get them to pull it down. This is like the only thing he does. Like... Beyonce does something with Indian culture or like a Hindu iconography. She gets canceled. Like Cardi B has shoes with Durga. Like she gets canceled because it's a goddess holding shoes. Like the dumbest stuff. But, you know, that being said, you know, we have a lot of disagreements with Oxymoron. I don't like a lot of his beliefs or his approaches to pretty much anything. But it made me realize one thing that I do appreciate about him. Okay, he might be Hindufa, but his priorities are in the right place because he actually, Oxymoron doesn't care about hurt sentiments like this nonsense. He actually cares about the quality of life of Hindus more. Like, I disagree with him in his approach on different things, but that's actually his priority. It's like, what is the quality of life of the people? He doesn't care about the hurt sentiments or whatever. This guy, 
this Zed guy, he only cares about the hurt sentiments and the blasphemy, blah, 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 blah. Like, so I, I appreciate, you know, oxymoron's priorities. This is a frustration we have with many Muslims. Like, they care more about insult to the prophet than the legitimate, like, devastation or brutality that Muslims are facing in, like, China or India, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, shouts out to you, Oxymoron, to having your priorities in the right place. Um, I One thing that I also thought was very funny about this news story is that the Hindu American Foundation, which we've talked about a lot on this channel, that we're not really a big fan of. I think they're, you know, kind of Hindufa aligned. That's where their priorities are. Um, even they came out, they were contacted for comment about this. Even they came out and they're like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with these toys. <laughs> they're like, no, these are, these are fine. <laughs> I'm surprised it and, took them this long. Like, why do they, why, like, we have more than, more than a billion Hindus. You're telling me it took them till now to have plushies of their gods and goddesses? I mean, not even goddesses, just their gods. Where are the goddesses? But missed opportunity. No, like, it took, like, why is this, why is this a new thing? You have avoided making these for one billion people. Do you know the market size of this? Do you know how many people would have let? Oh my God. <laughs> Armin's like, let me help you market your religion better. I mean, we have, we have Jesus action figures. We have Jesus toys. We have the nativity scene. What's wrong with this? Like even based on your religious standards, this is, this shouldn't be bad. It's cute. Look at it. Well, I, I mean, I, maybe we had to wait until the Indian American family to make it, you know, something about like the American crossover, I think might have been part of it. And, and the whole barrier of the constant hurt sentiments definitely played a role into why we didn't get this sooner. But the funny this thing is, why is they hate our art as well. You know, the art that we make, even though we make our gods yeah, better exactly. than we actually are. We make your gods, we improve your gods and goddesses. Okay. You're like, oh, this is blasphemy. No, this is an upgrade. Okay. It's an upgrade <laughs> to your gods and goddesses. Like, guys, by the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Atheist Republic Blasphemous Art. If you want to see them, subscribe to our newsletter. We make Blasphemous Art every week. A lot of them are Hindu gods and goddesses, okay? And I'm telling you, the entirety of the Hindu culture, for the thousands of years that it existed, it didn't make the Hindu gods and goddesses even close to as beautiful as we see it, right? So... We foreigners improve. Oh my Hindu, god! Okay, so you should. If you don't say. You know how you respond to that? You say thank you, foreigners. Oh my god! Thank you for improving our religion. But yeah, go on. No, okay. The last thing I wanted to say is, can you scroll down in the news article because this is pretty funny. Yeah. Okay, so someone had a tweet, and the tweet is: If kids salivate all over Hindu god plush toys and drag them on dirty floors, step over them, squeeze them. Doesn't that hurt Hindu sentiments? That's why hashtag boycott kids. <laughs> boycott kids? Is that what you're doing? And then the follow up tweet after this was the name of the toy company is Modi Toys. So it's safer to boycott the children. <laughs> Wait, why? They're like, okay. oh, Modi Toys, that's too close to Narendra Modi. We can't boycott anything that sounds close to him. So we have to boycott the kids instead. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. This is what you worry about? Is this guy joking? Is this serious? No, this he is, is joke. joking. Okay, he's one hundred percent joking. Good, good. CD. Sometimes I'm. Sometimes people are actually joking. Okay, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, GJ saying, do you also sell poster prints of your erotic arts? Um, we would love to, but no place would accept that. Okay, we we would want to like put them on t-shirts um but every store will kick us completely out of their you know like we if we if we because there are platforms that you could sell these shirts but they would like it would be so controversial that they wouldn't take it uh saying instead of if you guys know somewhere would be they have no chill and they will just like not censor you and would let us like make posters of erotic hindu art let us know where should we try because we would like to sell them uh, the question, the comment continues. Instead of seeing Van Gogh painting wall posters in the background of 20, 
background of wait what do you say 20 percent of youtube video what you, youtube videos you so you're saying that he would like to see our erotic arts in the backgrounds of youtube videos instead of the same old van gogh painting in everyone's video <laughs> we can't we, we our youtube videos will get a strike yeah you, you don't understand our True. erotic art is very erotic they're not YouTube friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but Guys, actually, check out, check out have... our erotic check out our erotic bathrooms art for free, you could get them for free if you're subscribed to our newsletter. We have new ones. Version. Yeah, but they're still like they're still very erotic. Like people, like there's a lot of sexy things happening. The gods look very sexy, but they're clothed. If you want to, if you want the not safe for work version, nude version, you have to become a patron. But the the free ones are pretty good as well. So link in the description. Mm -hmm. What were we gonna say? I interrupted you. Oh well, we have. Um, in, in our store, in the Atheist Republic merchandise store, which you can find in the description, we do have t-shirts with sexy Kali on it and Kali and Sita. And yes. well, it doesn't have to be a t-shirt. You can get on a bunch of different products like Posters. mugs, sweatshirts, backpacks, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, it's but not those a poster, are... but we have a lot of other things. Cell phones. Yes, but those are when our art wasn't like goddesses scissoring each other and stuff like that. Now, even the safe for work version, we can't sell because there's like a lot of, even though they're closed, there's like, it's just too much. <laughs> we have Hindu goddesses scissoring each other, guys. Check it out. True. Link in the description. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.